Swadika. Cool. So this um, this video is going to talk about leading and countering. This is something I talked before in other videos, and I feel like I'm just going to clarify some things. So what do you mean by leading and countering? So if red corner and blue corner have a fight, red corner starts to throw something, they're leading. If blue corner starts coming back with their own strikes, their own attacks, they're countering. So lead, counterer. These roles switch over time because then maybe blue starts countering and then taking the lead. And now red has to counter and take the lead. Is this making sense? It is, right? Yeah. Um, your first idea, is, the first thing you would do if you start sparring is you want to take the lead. You want to punch, 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 punch. Then what happens? You get countered. And then what happens? And then you just default back because you got countered. But if you start the exchange, you get countered, you re-countered, and then take the lead, you're going to be a little bit ahead. Now, does that mean you always have to engage? No. Here are the rules of engagement. First, uh, analyze the space you're working with. How far are they? How close are they? Secondly, see what stance they're in. The second rule of engagement, are they a southpaw? Are they lefty? Are they more heavy boxing style? That's like, you want to pick up that information. When you're engaging, keep your eyes directly forward onto the target, onto them. At no point when you're engaging, you should come in with your head away, your eyes away. You should be looking directly at them and everything that's happening. Again, three rules of engagement. The first, space. Find out what space you're working with. How, like if it's a big ring, if it's a 20 by 20, we have plenty of space to work. If you're sparring within small rooms or small sections, figure out the space. You, you might have to limit your weapons. Your second rule of engagement is what style do they have? Or what kind of stance do they have? Are they more kickboxing style, more on their tippy toes, or more Thai style, more southpaw, more MMA style? Just have an idea there before you engage. When you engage, keep everything centered. Keep your head um, forward, keep your eyes straight when you engage. After you engage, then yeah, you can move your head, you can slip, you can pull back, right? You can start being a little more open because now you know the space, you know what kind of style they were bringing to the table, um, an idea style they put into the table, and now you, you're seeing everything so you can continue to counter or lead. You're not going to always counter. Like, the, like in the perfect world, you, 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 I want you to counter all the time, but sometimes you won't. And that's okay because you're still building your index. Remember, sparring isn't a competition. It's just a good way just to continue to get better. So even if you're sparring and you're doing um, technical sparring, hard sparring, you're still getting better. It's not competitive, right? It's fun. Yeah, you want to get a little more of the exchanges in your favor, but if you, if you, if you get countered a lot, Believe me, you're going to get better because you're, you're reading, you're learning more. It's okay if you can't count all the time. Sometimes when you get to that certain level where you can do anything you like and you, and you can count any time, that's, that's like the most proficient way to strike. But that takes a lot of time. So just be, um, be easy on yourself, okay? Because uh, it's a long journey. It's a beautiful journey. Enjoy it. Kapu, kapu.